So off the west coast of Oregon, Northern California, and Washington, you have one of these oceanic plates that's diving below the continental plate. It's melting, and you're getting volcanic systems that are pushing their way through the crust. Over time, more and more magma and volatiles are going to build up, and they're going to represent themselves on the surface as a volcano. Now, the other main type of, of plate interaction I didn't really get too much detail into is going to be what we call those trans, uh, transverse interaction. So that is two plates sliding along each other for the most part. So what happens there is you have things, you can kind of think of Play-Doh. If you've ever taken Play-Doh and almost gone in opposite directions like that, you tear it. It like peels and tears. Rather than if you just stretch it, it gets thinner and weaker. If you pull in directly opposite directions, it tears. Tearing is pretty violent compared to just pulling things apart or even squeezing them together, right? So that's usually where we find the most violent earthquakes. And that's, if, again, going back to the United States, if we go south from where that plate is diving down, we get into the eastern edge of California, the western edge of Nevada, and we have these big mountains that are tearing against themselves and causing violent earthquakes. 